Minecraft free hostings have been popping up everywhere lately, but I think I might have found the best new free hosting. And yes, it is 24-7, well, sort of. What is up, crafters? Today we are going to be taking a look at a new free hosting called Leoral. Leoral. A new free hosting for your Minecraft server. But before we can get our server set up, there are a few things you need to know. As I said before, it is 24-7, but only vanilla bedrock and java. Don't listen to this kid, he is so wrong. Leoral is 24 seven. You just have to make sure to renew your server every two days, which I will show you how to do. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using paper MC, but you can use whatever version you'd like. Now you will need a discord account to sign up for Leoral, but it's 2023, who doesn't have a discord account by now? I don't have discord, Mr. Crafted Croy. I just pray and do community service all day. Shut up, you social rejects. <sighs> also, if you have issues or you need support with your server, feel free to join my discord or the Leoral discord where we can help you out. I'm able to assist you better in discord than I am through a long YouTube comment thread. Also, make sure to subscribe or this video won't work and let's get your free server set up and ready to play. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is head to this link. It will be in the description and we want to click login with discord and then click authorize. And there we go. Now we just need to enter our nickname. Mine will be Join Crafted SP. And then my birthday, 1 21. 21. And then 0001. They really should, like, not let you do that. Language, English, about IP Crafted SP.xyz and port 191 through 2. Background, nope. Profile picture, nope, and I agree with the terms and conditions, and then begin the journey, and then click to begin your journey. There's just this, like, anime kid the whole time that's, like, really grainy. Anyways, now we want to go to create, to create our server, and our server name, we can call it whatever we want, and then our server description, you can put whatever you want here, or you don't have to put anything, and then our server memory, this stuff, you do not have to edit, it should be all good. Now, what you want to do here, you want to select whether you want vanilla Minecraft, Forge, Fabric MSH, vanilla Bedrock, or Paper. I'm going to go with Paper because I like Paper and you can add plugins and stuff. But if you want your server to be 24 7, then go with Vanilla. But we'll go with Paper. And then we can deploy our server in the US or the Singapore. They might add more regions soon, but for now, we're just going to go with US and deploy new server. Ah, narts, I guess we have to use Singapore. There we go, we Yay! made our server. Now we can go to the servers tab. And here we go, we have our server. But before we can do that, we need to get our panel login info. Can you say that 10 times fast? Panel login info, I can't even do it. So we just, you see this button right here, you click that and then click on account. And so we have our email and our password. So now what we want to do is go back to the servers tab and we want to click these three little dots, click on link. So now you just want to go back to this page, copy your email, you should already know your email, paste it in right here, go back here, copy your password, and paste it in right there, click login. Do not save that, don't trust Google. All right, so here we are in our server and what we want to do is go to our files and we need to create an eula.txt. So you can go new file, and then we want to type eula equals true, and then click create file and type eula.txt. Click create file. And there we go. This basically just means that you're not going to be doing anything shady on your Minecraft server. And then we click on our console and start up our server. And there we go. Our Minecraft server has started up so we can join. Now, before we join our server, there are a couple settings that we may want to tweak. So let's go into our file manager and find our server.properties. And then we want to look for max players we can set that up a little bit and then if we want to allow crack players we can set online dash mode to false i'm going to leave it on true though and then we can set our view distance up you can 
change if you don't want the nether or not. Our simulation distance, that's basically how many entities are going to be loaded in for each player. But what we really need to set is the enforce secure profile to false. This just breaks the game. I've had a lot of bad experiences with this, so just set it to false and you'll be fine. Okay, so now we just need to restart our server, so we need to click on the restart button. A few moments later. All right, so now that our server has started up, we are good to join it. So what we want to do is go to the address and click on it. And now we can go in game and join our server. Okay, here we are in Minecraft 1.20.2. And what we want to do is click on multiplayer, click on add server, paste your little IP in using control V. And then we can set our server name to whatever we want. There we go, Minecraft server. I didn't have enough space for that. So we can click on done. Oh, here's a fun server. And we can scroll all the way down and then we can find our server and join. Now, because it took me a while to launch up Minecraft, our server shut down, but it's going to start the server back up because I tried to join it. It's actually good that happened so I can show how that works. All right, so now we should be good to join it. So we can click on it and there we go. We are in our free Minecraft server. All right, now there's one more thing that you need to know about this hosting, and that's that you need to renew your server every two days. So if we come here to our server, we click these three little dots and we go to renew. It's going to say, uh oh, there seems to be a problem. And that's because you don't have enough coins. So what we want to do is go back and go to the earn page. And then you need to complete enough of these link for ties links to get enough coins to keep your server up. So all we have to do is go to this and generate a link. Oh, shucks. So if you've never done a link for ties link before, they're pretty annoying. What you have to do is go to the free access with ads. And then what we want to do is skip. And we can do this and click I'm interested, explore website and learn more. It'll take you to here. And then you just wait a little bit until it says I am done with this step. So we'll just wait a couple seconds. And there we go. And we can go there. Okay, there we go. Now we have earned 75 coins. So these coins can be used in the marketplace to buy more RAM or disk or CPU or whatever you want or that is that even a real number I don't even know but yeah you can buy more slots you can buy a lot of stuff with these coins but to renew our server all you have to do go back to these three dots and click renew I don't have enough coins though right now and I don't feel like getting enough coins so what do I think about this free hosting well I give it a drum roll please an eight out of 10 on the craftometer. That's pretty good. It has a lot of important features that free hosting should have these days. And the 24 seven support is really nice, but hopefully it won't shut down like many other 24 seven hosts have. Doing link for ties ads can be kind of tiresome. So hopefully they add other ways to get coins other than just link for ties. It also has only three gigabytes of disk, which is really low, but I mean, it makes up for it for having five gigabytes of RAM. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to do all that YouTube stuff. You know the drill, like, comment, and subscribe. And also join all my Minecraft servers, especially the crafted SMP. We need more players. Well, until next time, I will see you on the other side. Happy crafting. I stole this sweatshirt a while back. Like I didn't really steal it. Somebody lost it and I just kind of took it. So that's how I got this sweatshirt. Okay, you need to go watch the Mr. Beast now. Peace out.